Good morning, Cardinals. Happy Friday to everyone. Hope and pray you had a blessed evening. A couple of announcements before we begin our daily prayer. A big congratulations to our eighth graders who celebrated their graduation yesterday. Um, it was a beautiful evening and so proud of our eighth grade class. Thank you, Cardinals, for your um, extending your goodbyes and your celebra celebrations of, of them completing their time here at St. Charles. And thank you for your prayers and support and uh, just a big congratulations and so proud of our eighth graders uh, for their journey and praying that they have an amazing new chapter in their academic and spiritual journey as they move off to other high schools. And so let us continue to keep our brothers and sisters in Christ, our eighth grade students in prayer and, um, and, and as, as they embark on this new chapter, okay? As I mentioned earlier in the week, I was gonna go ahead and extend um, birthday celebrations for over the summer to today or Monday, depending on the student, for you to celebrate your birthday. But I also wanted to list all the birthdays that'll be celebrated over the summer break. So here we go, Cardinals, hang tight. Let's see, on June 1st, Eric Yanoni celebrates his birthday. Jacob uh, Salazar celebrates his birthday on June 1st as well. Uh, Juan Cruz Moreno celebrates his birthday on June 5th. Eliana Saiz, June 10th. Uh, Andres Madrano, June 16th, uh, Everly and Felicity Garcia. Uh, I think they just celebrated their birthday and maybe this is a typo, but uh, their birthday is June 24th. Uh, Odin Geese celebrates his birthday on the 29th, um, although he might've celebrated his birthday earlier this week. Uh, Lucia Ortiz celebrates her birthday on June 30th. Uh, Mia Cruz Moreno celebrates hers on July 2nd. Jethro Fry celebrates his birthday June t or July 10th. Julian Pacheco, July 18th. Uh, William Watson celebrates his birthday on July 20th. Braylon Hooks, July 23rd. Malachi Geese, July 29th. And John Johnson, August 2nd. Continuing on, uh, on, on August 7th, uh, David Serato Salud celebrates his birthday. Paisley Cordova celebrates her birthday August 7th. And Gabby DiGiglio celebrates her birthday August 11th. And Emiliano Valencia celebrates his birthday August 12th. Starla Pacheco celebrates her birthday also on August 12th. And brothers and sisters, that's all of our summer birthdays. So a big happy birthday to all of our students whose names were just mentioned. And I hope and pray on your actual day of your birth, you also have an additional blessed day. So as you see those cardinals throughout the day, please wish them a happy early, early birthday, okay? Now if we could all take a moment now to breathe in the Holy Spirit put on our Christ and listen to today's word. Today we remember Saint Bernadine, who was different from the religious leaders of his day because he preached directly to the people in open spaces where they worked and lived rather than in church buildings. His method of preaching directly to the people revived the faith and the church. In today's reading, Jesus tells us that he brings light to the darkness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, Jesus' statement, whoever believes in me, whoever believes in me believes not in me but in him who sent me jesus yet again trying to help us understand and make that connection about him being god the son right that holy trinity thing and trying to make sure that not only do we love jesus we got to love the entire holy trinity right by loving jesus we are also loving the trinity but we need to give respect and we need to give acknowledgement to those three persons in one God, right? And so Jesus is respectful and mindful of who his father is, but also in the meantime, acknowledging that he is his father, that he is the father. 
it's it's an interesting and mysterious dynamic brothers and sisters but you know for us to help get our head wrapped around it you know think about think about uh, twins and many a times those twins they're not always identical but many a times they are almost the same kind of person right they look the same they maybe talk the same in a lot of ways act the same but in the meantime have little pieces about them that are unique and different and cardinals i guess that's probably a good way to give some kind of credit or or justice to who the holy trinity is it's like triplets and 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 not to take anything away from their um, awesomeness and their almighty um, you know the almighty deity that they are but at the same time recognizing that they each play a separate role in the design of who God really is but at the end of the day Jesus continues to give credit to his father the supreme the supreme leader if you will of who God really is the father and the creator right and so Jesus is here to do the work and to be the light of the world to be God made man and be an example to all of us but in the meantime always giving that credit to where it needs to be given which is to the father so we are abundantly blessed cardinals what does that mean we are blessed beyond our own understanding about how much god really loves us in his unconditional sense and how uniquely made we are and how much we have over the journey over the journey of this life to learn so much about love that that the more we learn, the more we understand, and the more we can deepen our faith, right? And so, you know, one of the best ways I've been able to put a different spin on this too is think about the person you love the most in your life, okay? And whenever you have that person, multiply that. Imagine multiplying that by 100,000, that amount of love. Maybe then you'll start to have a small sense of how much God loves us. Imagine that. The person that you love the most in your life, multiply that times 100,000. Nobody can fathom what that looks like, right? But that begins to give a taste or a glimpse at how much God the Father loves you and I. And so... You know, it's just something for us to take the time to think about uh, and, and be proud of and be grateful for and be in awe of and be so incredibly excited to know that that's how much we are loved, right? Even despite the challenges that happen in life, the difficulties in life, you know, um, we are loved nonetheless. Nonetheless, all of our mistakes, all of our shortcomings, we're still loved unconditionally, abundantly. And so... Well, we should celebrate and we should be giving thanks to God each and every single moment of every single day with every breath, with every, breath, with every heartbeat, um, just giving our thanks to God for His love. And how do we do that? How do we show that, Cardinals? By being loving to one another, being good to one another, and embracing the gospel, right? Um, and embracing the teachings of Christ. So thank you so much, Cardinals, for the love that you extend me, uh, one another, your teachers, this school, this community your own family at home and just uh, let us continue to be a people of love and by doing so cardinals we will um, enjoy all the good things that god has in store for us i pray you have a wonderful day and weekend cardinals god bless if you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America, and God bless our world.
Brrrr. 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 Brrr